Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the is subset set method. Basically, what this method does is it checks if the um, first set is a subset of the second set. And basically, what you need to know is what a subset is. And a subset would be uh, if we can find the objects from the first set in the second set and the second set has either uh, the same number of objects or more objects then that would make it a subset now if the first set has more objects in the second set it's no longer a subset all right or if the um, first uh, object contains an object that can't be found in the second set it's no longer a subset so let's go ahead and take a look at all this and how this works and then uh, uh, and I'll also show you, uh, since we're, we're going to work with the is subset uh, set me method and also the uh, less than equal to operator to test if it's a subset. So let's go ahead and check this all out. Let's go ahead and create two sets. So first one to be uh, A re represents it, one, two, and three. There's our first set. Second set is going to be, um, let's do one, two, three four, five, and six. All right, so we got two sets here. A has one, two, and three. B has one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so A is technically a subset of B because all the objects in A, one, two, and three, can be found in B, one, two, and three, all right? And B has the same number or more objects, all right? So that makes it a subset. Now, B cannot be a subset or how it says a is a subset of B so B cannot be a subset of a that's what I was trying to get at I was confusing myself a little bit there so let's go ahead and take a look at how the is subset uh, set method works a dot is subset like that and pass B whoops and if we hit return we get true like I said a is a subset of B because all the characters in a are found in B and it has the same number or more objects contained in B all right, let's add another set. We'll call this one C, and C will be uh, four, five, and six. All right, first let's do A is subset of C. No, it, it's not, it's false. And the reason being is the objects in A could not be found in C, all right? Uh, let's go ahead and do um, B dot is subset of C. No, it's not. Because, um, remember I said it has to be either the same number of objects or more for it to be a subset. Well, C doesn't have uh, six or more objects, so it cannot be a subset, all right? But four, five, and six were found in B, all right? But it needs to have more objects. Now, if we flip this around, that C is a subset of, or C is a subset of B, then we hit return, we get true. Because now C right here, four, five, and six is less less objects than B, and B contains four, five, and six. So it is a subset, all right? So that is what a subset is. Now, if we didn't want to use the is subset method, we have another way to do it. We can use the less than equal to operator to go ahead and check if it is a subset. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll call A, we'll call B, and we'll call C so you guys can see what we're working with. Now let's go ahead and do A is less than or equal to B. True. All right. Why is that true? Well, we talked about this. One, uh, A can be found in B, and B has equal to or more objects in the set. All right, let's try another one. Let's go ahead and do A is less than or equal to C. Nope, it's not a subset because A cannot be found in C. So the A's objects cannot be found in C. Well, let's go ahead and do um, B is less than equal to C. We get false because B has more character or more objects, I should say, than C. So it's not a subset. Now, if we flip it around, if we do C is less than equal to B, that is true because now C has four four, five, and six, and B has four, five, and six, and it has more characters, or more objects. I keep saying characters, I don't know why. But that makes it a subset. 
Um, last one we can try, we can say is A less than equal to B um, and then do C is less than equal to C like that A, B and C and it's false because C does not return true. All right. So if you guys have any questions about is subset or subset of a set in Python, please let us know. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.